What's up team? Welcome to Kettlebell Athlete. Today we're going to be doing an upper body workout. We're going to start off with your CNS prep. After your CNS prep, we're going to get into your power, followed by your strength, and then wrapping it up with your 12 minute EMOM. For the first movement we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing plyo push-ups. 10 seconds of work, 20 second break, four times through, okay? So let's not waste any time and let's get to work. I'm going to put this timer here on the ground so we can get started. So let's get in that push-up position in three, two, one. Let's go. One. All right, that was 10 seconds. We have three more of those. If those plyo push-ups are too hard for you, you can modify to a hand release push-up, but moving fast and explosive. I'll demo these, uh, de demo those this round. All right, let's get in that position in three, two. All right, we got two more rounds of that. I'm gonna switch back over to those plyo push-ups for the third round. 10 seconds left, let's start getting ready. Get in that push-up position. In three, two, one, let's go. All right, we have one more round to go, all right, team? Let's get it going in 10 seconds. All right. In three, two, one, let's go. All right. So that concludes your CNS prep. Next, we're gonna be going into your power. For your power today, you need both kettlebells. We're gonna be doing your height cleans for six reps. You have a minute and a half to complete those six reps. The remainder of the minute and a half is gonna be your break. Okay, what we're gonna be doing here, we setting up your kettlebells in front of you. You're gonna get in that hinge position here, arms out in front of you, tilting those kettlebells on their side. You're gonna hike them in between your thighs Get them into that rack position. Same way they came up, same way they go down. All right, team? Let's keep, keep this party rolling. Gonna set my timer. Minute and a half to knock out these six reps for three rounds. All right, team? In three, two, one. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One more. Six. All right. We have a minute left on your break. If you're not done with your reps, let's try finishing those up so you have plenty of time to rest, all right? One of the things that I'm looking for is to make sure when you're hiking those kettlebells that you're putting, pulling with that power. So you hike them through. When they come through your thigh, through your legs here, I want you to drive forward with those hips, pop them up, catch them in that rack position. All right, team? All right. Start setting up. You have 10 seconds left. Start getting ready, team. In three, two, one. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. 
or five, one more, six, all right, we have one more round of that before we move into our strength portion of the day. Remember, pull hard, catching that rack position. Try to avoid having those kettlebells come down, slamming on, on your wrist and forearm, all right? So don't crush grip them when they're coming up. Loosen up just a tiny bit and let that kettlebell roll over that hand. We have 20 seconds left. Remember your setup, hinge. Have those kettlebells in front of you, tilt them on their side. Try to keep those arms straight as possible. Spine nice and long. Keep that core nice and tight. All right, in three, two, one, let's go. One. Two. Three. Four, five, one more, six. All right, let's wrap up those reps. You got plenty of time to finish them out. Got about a minute to knock those out. Remember, you wanna move fast and explosive. Try to reset after each rep and then get the most out of it, all right, team? I give you guys your time to finish up. While you're finishing up, I'm gonna explain the next set of movements for your strength block. For your strength block, we're gonna be doing your strict presses. All right, on your strict presses, you're gonna be doing eight reps, okay, for four rounds. We have two minutes to complete those eight reps. The goal here is to move strong and don't rush your reps, okay? Try to just use your upper body for these, all right, team? So I'm gonna get that timer started and we're gonna get to work. All right, everyone get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, one more rep, eight. All right, let's put these down. That roughly took me about 40 seconds. If you're not done yet, keep knocking them out. Remember your rest is just as important as your work is, okay? All right, keep it up, keep it up. All right, you're at that one minute mark. This is good, it would be good to pace yourself to knock out those reps between that 40 seconds to a minute. So you have a minute break to recover, okay team? You don't wanna be working a minute and a half and then having 30 seconds to recover and then right back at it again, all right? So make sure, knock them out between 45 seconds to a minute. It's only eight reps, eight strong reps. Get that breathing down. Just the way we practice those height cleans, that's how I wanna see you get those kettlebells up into that rack position before you start pressing. So let's set up that height clean. You have 15 seconds left. Get your mind right. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. All right. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight. All right, team, we have two more rounds of that. So another set of cues that I wanna see when you're pressing, make sure those ribs stay down, hips stay tucked in when you're pressing up overhead, okay? And one of my biggest problems years ago, and still get it from time to time here when I start going up in a heavy weight and not pay attention, I don't pay attention to my form, so my ribs come up, okay? Got a big midsection area, so I really gotta focus on keeping those ribs down when I'm pressing up, okay? But that's one of the most common mistakes that I see in the gyms when people are pressing up, okay? I didn't even do that, right? I actually tuck my hips, but they do this and they open up those ribs and stick their butt out. Let's not do that, all right? <sighs> ribs down, hips tucked in, have a nice strong clean at the beginning, and then we're gonna get into our presses. So let's set off. <sighs> We have 20 seconds left. Ten seconds left. I'm gonna go ahead and clean them up. Set up for my pressing. All right, let's get it going. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. All right, we have one more set. Let's take a breather. One more set. Before we get into our finisher. All right. Finish out those reps. You got about a minute 05. Remember, just try to wrap them up within that minute. If you're not finishing within that minute, it's fine if you go six reps. If you're finishing them off super early, go ahead and slow down that tempo or increase your reps. Anywhere between eight to 12, I'm fine with that, okay? But just make sure that you're owning the weight. If your weight's too light and you wanna go heavier, then go heavier. I'm using a set of 16 kgs and they're giving me a fun challenge today. But normally I would be working with 24 kgs to 32 kgs. Those are, that's kind of the range that I like to work in. But for video, you gotta be kidding me. There's no damn way I was gonna demo all these workouts with 32 kgs, all right? So, all right, we have 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, last set here, nice strong presses, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more rep, eight. All right, let's put those down. You got a minute 20 to complete your reps. Let's finish them out. Let's keep it up, keep it up team. If you're not done, let's start wrapping it up. Okay, so you have plenty of time on your break before we get into the next section. We're rolling up on a minute break left. All right, we have a minute break left. So make sure to complete those reps. But for this next part, we're gonna be getting into a 12 minute EMOM. So let's get ready, team. All right, team, for this 12-minute EMOM, we're gonna be doing four moves, three rounds through. So that's 12 minute total, all right? 
You're going to be doing one move per minute, not four moves in a minute. Okay, so you're going to complete those reps that are, you know, rec uh, recommended. And then the remainder of the minute is going to be your break. For the first movement, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a bridge press with one kettlebell. So you're going to grab the kettlebell, you're going to crush grip it, pressing it over, going side to side. You'll see when we get started. After that, we're going to be going into a row. We're going to be doing an alternating row. So we're going to get in that hinge position here, and we're going to be rowing side to side, slow and controlled. Okay, we're going to be doing five reps on each side for 10 total reps. After we're done with that, we're going to be doing 10 push-ups, going down slow, exploding up. Okay, and the last thing, we're going to thread the needle, going five one way, and then five the other. All right, so everyone get ready. Let me get this timer ready. Now let's get to, let's get to working. All right, five, four, three, two, one, let's go. All right, so I'm gonna lay down here, grab this kettlebell, bridging up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, team, we're going to be doing your rows next. Okay, so I'm going to set up these rows, so both kettlebells here. We have 15 seconds. All right. All right, let's stand up those bells. Let's get in that row position. Five reps on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna go into your push ups next. So I'm gonna move these kettlebells off to the side. This one here, move this one over here. Remember going down slow, exploding up for 10 push ups. All right, if you got plenty of energy, just hold that straight arm plank position for the time remaining till we get into our next round. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're gonna thread the needle next, all right, team? We're gonna stay here on the ground and move this kettlebell out of the way. We have 20 seconds left. All right, we have 10. We're gonna go five in each direction. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we have ten seconds left. We're going to be doing your bridge press. 
<laughs> we got three seconds left. All right, let's get it going. Hips up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, team. What I want to see there when you're pressing, make sure when you come in the center, really squeeze, all right? This is one of those exercises where you got to make sure that your mind and body are connected and you're really focusing on that squeeze, all right? Let me get these kettlebells together before we start our rows. All right, in five seconds. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. We're going to be getting into your push ups next. These kettlebells out of the way. 30 seconds left. You're not done with your reps. Let's start wrapping it up. We have 15 seconds left. Remember 10 push-ups. Going down slow, coming up fast and strong. Let's get in that plank position. All right, team. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, we have 30 seconds. We're going to thread the needle next. So let's get in your position. Focus on your breathing. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds left. All right, let's get ready, team. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. All right, we have 12 seconds left. We're going to be doing your floor press. Let me get myself set for this one. Remember, drive those hips up. Make sure those legs are engaged too. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, team, we're going to go into your rows next. Let me get these kettlebells close to each other. Keep worrying about my hair for some reason when I really don't care. When I work out, you're going to get sweaty, you're going to get messy. It's not going to be pretty. So let's get with it, team. Got 10, 10 seconds left. We're going to get those rows in. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Five seconds left. Three, two, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's get these kettlebells out of the way. We're gonna wrap it up with our last two rounds. We have push-ups and we have threading the needle and we're done for the day. All right, random fact. Started training with kettlebells over 10 years ago. Now, to be honest, the first four years, I really didn't know what I was doing. It wasn't until I got with Coach John Wolf and Shane Haynes that taught me how to move more efficiently and really make every rep count. So remember, if you're just getting started, you know, there's plenty of other options for you to modify to you, okay? But enough of me talking, I'm not gonna knock out these push-ups in less than 10 seconds, so that's why I'm blabbing on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we're gonna thread the needle next. Let's finish off strong. Ten seconds left. Let's get ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right, team. That concludes workout for upper body with the kettlebell athlete. Like I always say, Move strong and powerful, but make sure to make every rep count. And remember, if these reps are too high for you, modify the reps. If they're too easy for you, get them a little bit higher. But thank you for jumping in and getting a good sweat in with me.